In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a free domain for your Minecraft server using Freenom and Cloudflare. To start off, head over to freenom.com where you'll need to make an account using a valid email. After creating your account, you may need to go to your email to verify the account. After verifying the account, you'll need to go back to the login page and log in. Once you log in, you may be presented with this page. Simply go ahead and click on the service and register a free domain name button. Once you arrive on this page, go ahead and type in the domain name you'd like to use. Please do not include any .coms, .tas, .gas or anything like that in the domain name. Go ahead and check availability. This may take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, so please be patient. Once you arrive on this page, you may see a free free domains, which will include .tk, .ml, .ga, .cf, and .gq domain names. You can purchase .com, .net, or .org names, but they will cost you money. For the purpose of this video, we'll be going over using free domain names. For this video, I'm going to be using youtubetesting.ga. You can check out multiple domains at the same time. Just go ahead and select the other domains you'd like to use. For this video, we're going to be using .ga and .tk. After you have both domains selected and they have the screen check mark next to them, head on over to the checkout. Once you arrive at the checkout, wait a few moments for this button to appear. Now this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. As you can see, the button has appeared. Go ahead and click it and change it to 12 months for free. As you can see, you can buy options of up to 8 or even 10 years, but that will cost you. You can renew the domain after they expire. We're going to go ahead and set each domain to 12 months. Go ahead and click continue. Once you click continue, go ahead and click the terms and conditions. After clicking the checkbox next to the terms and conditions, go ahead and click complete order. After clicking complete order, you will be landing on this page. It's an order confirmation page. You do not need to do anything on this page. Go ahead and click services and click on my domains. You will see the list of domains you have registered. As you can see, I have quite a few domains registered. You will be able to see the registration date, expiration date, and status. For this video, we're going to be using youtubetesting.ga. Now, we're going to be leaving freenum.com and heading over to cloudflare.com. Once you arrive at cloudflare.com, you will need to make an account and you will need to verify the account using your email. Upon activating the account, head on over to add a site. You'll be presented with this page. Head on over back to freenom.com, find the domain you'd like to use. In this case, we'll be using youtubetesting.ga. Go ahead and copy that domain. Go ahead and paste the domain in Cloudflare. Now, it could take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours for your domain to register, so please be patient. You may need to try registering your domain with Cloudflare in a few hours. As you can see, it says fail to look up register and hosting information of youtubetesting.ga at this time. Please contact Cloudflare support or try again later. You do not need to contact Cloudflare support. As stated before, we can wait a few minutes to a few hours for our domain to be registered. After clicking add site after a few minutes, you'll be presented with this page. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using the free plan. Go ahead and click continue. We're going to be waiting a few minutes for Cloudflare to look for DNS records from Freenom. After a few minutes, you'll be presented with this page. There may or may not be some DNS records here. If there are, that's okay, we'll be removing them. If there aren't, go ahead and click continue. Click confirm. 
you will be presented with this page. After clicking continue, you will land on this page. You do not need to determine your registrar as we already know who our registrar is. Head on over to freenom.com and go to management tools. Then click on name servers. After clicking on name servers, you will be presented with this page. You can go ahead and click on use customs name servers. This will automatically remove the Freenom name servers. Go ahead and go to step number four, copy the first and second name server. We're going to be pasting them here now. After pasting both name servers, go ahead and click change name servers. Now we'll wait for Freenom to load up the page. After loading up this page and after seeing the successfully saved message, go ahead and head on back to Cloudflare. Before doing anything on Cloudflare, I advise you wait 5 minutes before doing anything. After 5 minutes, go ahead and click done, check name servers. You might be presented with this page, go ahead and click finish later. After clicking finish later, you might be presented with this page. Scroll down to the bottom of this page till you see Cloudflare periodically checks for name server updates. To initiate a name server check now, check name servers. I advise you wait 5 more minutes before clicking the check name servers or you're going to be waiting up to 24 hours to process your name server. After a few minutes, click the check name servers. After clicking the check name servers, you'll be shown this message. Cloudflare is now checking the name servers for youtubetesting.ga. Please wait a few hours for an update. After clicking the button, please wait up to five minutes for any changes to acquire. After five minutes, Refresh the page and you'll be presented with this message. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. After seeing this message, go ahead and head on over to the DNS tab. Upon arriving on this tab, go ahead and add a record. For this record, we're going to be pointing this website name to our Minecraft server IP. Go ahead and put an at sign. This will just make sure that YouTubeTesting.ga is pointed to this IP. You might be wondering what IP address you need. Well, if you're hosting the server on your home computer, head on over to IPChicken.com and copy this IP that's shown here. If you're using a host, go ahead and copy the IP that the host provides you. For now, I'm going to be copying this IP. Don't worry, this is not my real IP. You will see some advanced information down here. Do not leak or show anyone these information. Go ahead and copy that and head on back over to cloudflare.com. We're going to go ahead and paste our IP. We're going to go ahead and make sure it's DNS only and that the TTL is on two minutes. Go ahead and click save. In this instance, I'm unable to save it as this is not a real IP, but we're going to go ahead and pretend like I saved that. After doing that, go ahead and create another record, but this time we're going to change the type. We're going to change it to SRV. Once you click SRV, go ahead and type for names at. And for services, we're going to go ahead and do underscore Minecraft. For protocol, we're going to leave it TCP. For TTL, we're going to go ahead and change it to 2 minutes. For priority, we're going to set this to 0. For wait, we're going to go ahead and set this to 0. And for port, you're going to be using whatever port your Minecraft server is hosted on. Or if you're using a host, you're going to be using the port they provide you. In this case, we're going to be using the normal 25565 port. Now for our target, we're going to go ahead and put youtubetesting.ga. This will make a bit more sense later, but go ahead and click save. As you see, the SRV record saves. This is how your SRV record should be. Then we're going to go ahead and add another SRV record. We're going to go ahead and go down to type again and click SRV. 
For a name, we're going to be using the domain. And for service, we're going to be using underscore Minecraft. For your protocol, we'll be using TCP. And for your TTL, we're going to set it to 2 minutes. Your priority is going to be 0 and your weight's going to be 0. For port, you're going to be using whatever port you used in the last SRV record. In this case, it's going to be 25565. Your target is going to be whatever domain you'd like it to be. In this case, I'm going to set it to play.youtubetesting.ga. Now, you can set this to whatever you'd like. You can change it to mc.youtubetesting.ga or you can set it to gg.youtubetesting.ga but ultimately this is the IP that someone's going to be entering into Minecraft to get on your server. We're going to go ahead and save that SRV record. After saving that SRV record you're going to need to wait anywhere from one hour to a couple of days before changes take place. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can place them in the comments below. If you would like a response quickly, you can join my Discord server. I'm on there 24-7.